I'm a language learner and a language teacher. And this might be the most useful AI technology that I've ever come across. Imagine the technology that will extract the transcript from any YouTube video and in multiple languages. At the click of the button, it will translate it into another language. At the click of the button, the transcript becomes searchable so you can find words or phrases that you want to learn. You can even save certain sentences from the transcript. You can highlight them. And incredibly, this technology has ChatGPT embedded into the technology. So you can make reading comprehensions and true or false and lists of vocabulary and summaries and collocations at the click of a button. For me personally, this is one of the most useful technologies that I've ever come across to help me with my language learning. And incredibly, there is a free option that you can use every day. Really hope you liked the video, and as always, if you do, please like it, please comment on it, please share it with other teachers and students, but most of all, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. To save you time, I'm gonna show you some of the key features really quickly. So I've got here various videos that I have uh, been translating and getting the transcripts from. Ma mainly I'm learning Polish, so I'm gonna show you an example in Polish, but this could be in any language. Click on it. The first thing is I get the transcript here, the complete transcript, and of course I get the audio, so I can actually play and listen at the same time, and that, for example, is really useful. Let me just show you. Hey, to Sonia, witajcie na moim kanale. Zapraszam Was dziś na odcinek. And I really like the way that, for example, when it's reading it out, it actually highlights the word. That's really useful. The next obvious thing is that I can get a translation. So I've actually translated it into English. I can translate into multiple languages. So I've already done a translation into English. So if I want to any time, I can just click here and switch it over to English and it's going to give me the translation into English. And that can be really useful when I'm trying to work out words that I don't understand. One of my favorite features is the ability to search within the text. So we can look for particular words or phrases that we want to understand and see in action. So for example, if I was to put in thus, I'm gonna get all the examples here where that pronoun is being used. I'm just gonna delete that. I'm gonna show you some other features that I really like. I like this ability to copy the whole of the transcript in one click. And I've actually used this quite a lot. So just being able to click there, and maybe paste that into a Word file or paste it into Google Translate uh, as another way of translating the text, that can be really, really useful to me. So notice also that I've bookmarked various of the phrases. Now there are lots of features here that I particularly like. For example, let's say I want to copy this whole phrase. I can just click here and copy it. For example, I could jump over now to Google Translate and just translate that one sentence. Let me show you. So I'm over in Google Translate. I'm going to paste in that sentence and immediately I can get a translation into English. That ability to copy any of the sentences is really useful. If I just scroll down a bit more, let's say I want this one here, bang, copy. Another thing you'll notice that I do is I highlight key phrases that I might wanna learn or refer back to. So if I'm going through it and I think, oh yeah, this is a really important sentence or there's a word I don't understand, I just click here and bang, I've now got that bookmarks. I find that very useful and I haven't found that in all the other tools that do a similar thing. But perhaps the most important thing out of everything I've just shown you uh, is the ability to use the AI. If I click here on this example, you'll actually see some of the things that I did with this text. This immediately opens up ChatGPT. And if you look here, it automatically actually summarizes the transcript for me immediately, which I can copy. So I could copy that into Word, or I could copy that into Google Translate, etc. But then look what I did below. Here I asked it to give me 10 keywords from the text, from the transcript that I might need to learn, and to give me the translation of those words into English, and it did that. And if I come down here, I can just give it instructions to do something else. Let's ask for 10 comprehension questions. 
So I've asked for 10 comprehension questions based on the transcript and at the end, can you provide me with the answers? Really important. Okay, so I'm gonna press enter and off it goes. It's gonna generate that content which I can copy. So I can get it, for example, to extract important phrases from the transcript or highlight a particular word and copy all the examples of that word or I can get it to do true or false questions or I can get it to do as I've done here comprehension questions okay plus it gives me the answers to those questions as well I, when I ask for the comprehension questions I ask for the answers okay so this is really good and of course what I really like is that it just gives you this little button here to copy so you can paste it immediately into Wordwall. So you can see some of the key features. You can jump around the video very quickly by just clicking here and playing from this part. Okay, so you can click on start. And then if I want to come back, and if I want to come forward, but another thing I can do is actually just click here and start as well. So if I've got the play button on, click here, click here, yeah, click here. So I like this ability to be able to very, very quickly play parts of the uh, audio as well. Okay, that was a quick tour of the key features. There are actually more features in it, but I just wanted to highlight those particular ones that I use all the time. If the video is useful, don't forget to click on the like button because it massively helps my YouTube channel and I'm trying to build my algorithm. I'm now going to show you exactly how the technology works. Remember, if you click on the link below, you can use the technology for free once a day. If you was looking to pay for this technology so you could use it for more than just one video, it's not a particularly expensive uh, technology anyway. Let's get on with then looking very quickly at how it all works. It's very, very simple. So from the home page, all you need to do is click on add media and you want to paste in the video link. So that's the link from the top of the screen. Let me show you. So I'm going to go over to one of my favorite video channels, which is Thinking Polish, and I'm going to copy that link at the top. So I'm going to come back then and simply paste that link in and press on the add button. And it's going to take a while. It doesn't happen immediately. It's going to need to go through the video and extract the transcript from that particular video. You can see it's already started. Now let's come back to the video once it's all done. So we're off and running, and we can just click now and start to play it. If you want to save a particular sentence, for example, just come down to the sentence. Remember, just click here. If you want to copy a sentence, just click here. That will copy the complete sentence, which is really useful. If you want to search for anything, just click on here. Let's put, for example, the verb in yes. Okay, and see, press enter. I'm going to see all the examples of the verb yes being used in sentences. I find that super interesting. You can jump back 15 seconds by just clicking on this button here. But remember, you can also just click at the top here and jump to a particular part of the video. Then just click on the play button. You can even do it while you're actually playing. You can just jump to a particular part. Okay, now remember one of the most important features is the ability to translate. So you can click here, click on add translation, just click on the language that you want and then click on, or in fact just click on it and it will actually start translating for you. Just a super quick break from the video, just to say if you do like the video, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There are loads more free videos on the site. I specialize in making videos that show language teachers how to use technology. One other thing, if you sign up to the newsletter at the moment, then you will get a free 14 part course where I show you some of the key technologies that we can use in language teaching. There really are no tricks, nearly everything that I highlight is free. That was all, let's get back to the video. Use the AI, just click on it. Remember that's an, a feature and it automatically summarizes the transcript. That's the first thing it does. But then of course afterwards, and remember anything that it does, you just click here to copy. But if you come down here, you could ask for anything. Let's say for example, we want to extract 10 of the key words from the sentence. Actually, one, one thing is I've got it set here on translation. So I'm just going to close that down because actually what I want is to come back to the Polish and I will be wanting 
the translation or the tra the um, basically the summary in Polish. So I'm just going to click here and it will summarize it in Polish for me now because I'm back in Polish. And then, of course, I could ask it to extract 10 key words from the, uh, for example, from the transcript or 10 useful phrases. There we are. I've got my automatic summary but let's just give it a quick test here and i'm going to ask for 10 key phrases so i've asked for 10 key phrases and the basically translations into english and off it will go it will extract those phrases from the uh, text there they are and it's also given me a translation and remember again i can just copy all of this paste it into word etc so really really useful highly recommend this technology as i said there are more features but these are the features that i'm using most of the time the ability to copy play at any part uh, change the speed so you can actually slow down the rate of play that can also be very useful Okay, I genuinely think that that is a useful technology for language learners, and I'm using that now literally all the time. I do have another favorite technology that I use for language learning because this technology will produce a text for me in any language, but it will also produce the audio so I can read and listen at the same time. I can also control the level and it will produce it on any topic. Now, if you want to know about that technology, it's called Ed Cafe. I'll put the link on the screen so you can watch a video about how Ed cafe works one last thing just to point out a lot of people ask me Russell how do you make your videos how did you build up your YouTube channel well actually I have another channel called screencast guru that's all about how I make my videos using a technology called Camtasia but also how I built up my YouTube channel etc and if you want to access all the content subscribe to that channel it's screencast guru I launched it only about sort of six or seven months ago. Anyway, really hope you liked this video. And of course, don't forget to click on the like button. Thank you. Okay, really hope you liked the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.